Now we prepare for Giovanni, which we're going in blind for. So really the only thing I can prep is dark types. I mean, that's all I really can do. Aren't we allowed to tell you types? Uh, for gym leaders, we usually are. Technically Giovanni isn't a gym leader, so it's kind of... He's at the end of Cerulean Cave and he has a Mewtwo. I, all I know is that he has a Mewtwo. We need dark type. We thankfully have Drapion and we have Umbreon. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna have something like Expanding Force or Psychic, one, something like that. Maybe Psycho Boost. Typically in challenges, they give it something like Aura Sphere to handle dark types. I could see it having Shadow Ball and maybe Recover. We're definitely bringing Politoed because I'm assuming beyond Mewtwo, I wouldn't be surprised if he's still doing a sand team, some sort of sand team. What he's doing for the sand team, I don't know. Last time he had Hippowdon to set up sand. What else has sand? What else, what else, like sand stream? Doesn't, can't Onyx get sand stream? Like Steelix? You could have Steelix. I know historically, like the best sand setters were like Tyranitar. Like Tyranitar and, and Hippowdon are like your your good sand setters. So I, I, I imagine it's one of those are, I guess maybe Steelix and just raw set up Sandstorm because since it's such a tank. Because I imagine he's probably gonna still have his Garchomp from before. I could see a Hippowdon or Tyranitar, Garchomp. He could bring back Excadrill because that thing was fucking nuts on his team before. He could still have Kangaskhan. I think Galissapod is still a good play because Galissapod could do massive damage to Mewtwo as well with First Impression and Sucker Punch. Typhlosion, I don't imagine is gonna be needed here. What do you think the odds are it's Mega Mewtwo? I'm imagining very high that it's Mega Mewtwo, which is why I'm assuming it's Mega, Mega Mewtwo Y is the scarier one, which is why I'm assuming it's dark type central. I, I think Mega Mewtwo X would be a little too easy to handle with like a fairy type. So I feel like Mega Mewtwo Y would be just absurd to deal with. Good Lord. Mega Mewtwo Y has base 194 special attack. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this Pokemon is busted. It's actually busted. Like normal Mewtwo alone is insane, but Mega Mewtwo Y? Oh my god. Its base attack is 150. Its physical defense is terrible though. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Its physical defense is super bad. It's 70. And normal Mewtwo base defense of 90. So if this is Mega Mewtwo Y, it's actually kinda that's actually kinda good for us. And if it's a Mega, that means it can't have focus sash. Which means if I put Sash on Drapion, guaranteed wicked blow one shots that. Critical hit, wicked blow, max attack. Guaranteed we kill it. Because for all I know, this game could just give him like three. They could just give him all three Mewtwo's if they felt like it, right? Because it's Radical Red. You never know what bullshit they're gonna do. They could just give him all three. So it's like, I wanna make sure I've got <laughs> options. Can I give one heads up about the battle? Um, What does the heads up involve? <laughs> it's not a Mon he has or anything. I will tentatively allow it. It's an NPC partner double battle from the looks of it. Wait, is it really? <gasps> okay, that's actually, is that real? If that's the case, oh, that changes everything. That sucks. Are you sure that's in the 3.1 version? Okay. Oh, I get Lance as my partner. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool then. Well, if it's Lance as my partner, I can imagine a couple of dragons he might bring. You know what? Actually, that's information I'll allow. What Pokemon does Lance have? That, because that doesn't give me any info on what the opponent has. That just gives me info on what I can hopefully play around. Dialga, Salamence, and Dragapult. Wow, okay. So then I'm imagining Salamence is the Mega. Wow, okay, if they're giving him those, if they're giving him those Pokemon, this fight's gonna be insane. Cause those are three really strong Pokemon. Like what if we go dead ass? What if we go Amoongus, get this thing properly trained up, totally defensively, and just Rage Powder, dude. Rage Powder Pollen Puff? Like, it's like fucking VGC. VGC Amoongus, dude. Can this be a fight where you get types? Cause it's an NPC double and all? That's tough, man. I, it's on the level of a gym leader fight, I guess. I'm, I'm just worried that if I get the typings, it's gonna be too obvious. Cause at this point, 
there's gonna probably be some like unique typing if there's like legendaries in that, you know? Will this be a best of three since it's NPC ally double battle? It's also a good question. With the other one, we get three chances. With with the one that's in Silphco, we get three chances because of the RNG. I think it would have to be one or the other. Either I'm allowed to know the types ahead of time or I'm allowed multiple tries where the whiteouts still count against the counter. Based on the precedent that we have set with these fights before with NPC double battles, it makes sense to follow a similar precedent because there's just gonna be so much RNG involved. Multiple tries is just better mathematically because you'll know the types after that. That's true. Or we just go in raw, dude. <laughs> I mean, if he's got Salamence, Dragapult, and Dialga, if that's actually the team that Lance has, he's got offense ready to go. Let's do a vote. What if Lance's AI is cringe? That's why we have the option for two tries because we don't know what Lance's AI is gonna do. Well, it's looking like the votes are going towards just knowing the types beforehand. All right, fellas. Well, you guys voted. So lay it on me. Dark fighting, psychic fairy. What the psychic fairy? Ground steel. Okay, so that's, there are two po- Oh, two Pokemon that could be. Rock dark, steel flying, and psychic. Okay, so dark fighting could be like Pangoro. Dark fighting, Urshifu. Scrafty, right? Those are the only three I can think of. I mean, psychic fairy, that's Gardevoir. That could probably be a couple of things actually, right? Like Mr. Mime. Oh, uh, the, the, what's the fucking Tapu, dude? Uh, Tapu, the pink one. <laughs> I know the pink one, cause that thing was like a psychic terrain beast back in VGC. Cause if it was just a single battle, I wasn't gonna allow any, any info. I was just gonna say, fuck that. We'll go in blind, I'll do the best I can. But having it be a double battle where I can't control what both Pokemon do, like, oh, that's so, there's so many factors I have to think about. Let me explain the thinking here. Let me explain the thought process again. Here are the notes. If you wanted to know what I had to work with, here are the notes, all right? I am sure there are some I missed, but this is what I came up with. If it starts with a dark fighting type, it makes sense to start with a fairy type that would clap its cheeks. The problem is this is the best fairy type I have, <laughs> is a Comfe. <laughs> In fact, it is one of two fairy types I have available. It was this or a Slurpuff. And when I looked at the defensive capabilities and moveset stuff, this seemed like a better option. Kongol, once again, is here to clap anything that is fairy type. I have an Akaberry on it, which I grinded for like crazy. That was part of why I was late today because I was going to every raid den I possibly could to find a berry that could help resist a fire move <laughs> because Typically, these sorts of like psychic fairy types are packing something like mystical fire or like hidden power fire or some shit like that. We're four times weak to fire. Having an Akaberry gives us a chance to survive that. And we have shell armor so we don't get hit by critical hits. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say that there was like a solid month or so between that fight that we had just won and all the prep that happened going into this fight that you're seeing here today against Giovanni. Because of that, I had completely brain farted that we had already talked about this being a double battle with like Lance and we already talked about his Pokemon. So this strat that I came up with is actually really dope for what I was potentially going to be fighting. And I think could have worked pretty well if it ended up being a single battle like I thought, I guess in this moment it was going to be. If you'd like to hear like the full breakdown of the strat, this is technically VOD 47 of the Radical Red Dutes Lock. So those are all available still on my Twitch channel. Feel free to go back and listen to like the whole breakdown I came up with, but I mean, it's not even really much of a spoiler because we already know this strategy I yap about it wouldn't work because I only get to bring in three Pokemon. So <laughs> there you go. Just wanted to clarify why I'm skipping over pretty much this entire breakdown. I hope you enjoy. Everything goes crazy in this episode. I, I hope that you get a kick out of all of it. I am very nervous. I'm extremely nervous. This stream was like a month in the making. And by a month in the making, I mean, I just didn't get a chance to do it for like a month. <laughs> but now it's time, dude. A huge, massive battle incoming. I'm actually incredibly scared, but also excited to give this a try. It's the first time we've ever gotten to fight Giovanni 3. And with the limited amount of notes I have, I think it's going to be quite the attempt. Of course, my boy was here for the massive Giovanni fight. You think he wouldn't be? He is so big and strong, dude. Really strong. I'm so nervous, man. This fight's insane. All right. We win these. 
We simply win these. I see you've come to stop me yet again. Unfortunately, you won't be the hero this time. You're too late. Oh my god. Master balling the Mewtwo, dude. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I wanted it. Oh, it is Mega Mewtwo. Okay, this is what we prepared for. We prepared assuming it was Mega Mewtwo. But which one? It has to be Mega Mewtwo Y, right? If it's Mega Mewtwo X, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'll just say that now. Uh, if it's Mega Mewtwo X, I think I'm I'm just screwed. Still dare to stop me knowing I have Mega Mewtwo? The honor is mine, you insolent child. Whoa, things are getting out of hand here. Wait. Oh, shit! Hi there, just the champion stopping by to help put an end to this mess. I can't possibly be stopped with Mega Mewtwo. Oh, shit, I'm battling with a Lance? I came here rather short of notice, so- Oh, shit! This changes everything! Oh, I think somebody mentioned this and I totally forgot. I have no idea what Lance is gonna have. Okay, well we know for sure we're bringing Drapion. I have to bring Drapion and I think I have to bring Lapras. I think this is the only play chat. I don't know what Lance has and that makes this really hard. Here we go, chat. First ever attempt Giovanni 3. I am not feeling confident right now because I did. I forgot that this was a, a ah. Okay, Scrafty and Tapu Lele. Okay, Scrafty's not horrible. That is one of the ones we wrote down. That's actually probably maybe best case scenario, but Tapu Lele is worst case scenario. So this blows and he's leading Dragapult. That's not good. <laughs> What is he going to do with a Dragapult? Okay, Psychic Seed, Special Defense Rises. Oh, he has Intimidate. Oh, but I have Clear Body. Oh, wait, he has, he has Clear Body. Okay. Oh, shit. That still sucks, though. That means I can't one-shot the Tapu Lele. I need to play this very safely. Here's what we do. We check... Oh, he's got Dialga and Salamence. Okay. Okay. Wait, that's actually fucking hype. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. He's got Light Clay Dragapult, Jolly Nature, so he will outspeed everything. Ooh, it screens Dragapult. Okay, so we have screen support from Dragapult, which is hype. Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Reflect and Light Screen. So this will outspeed and probably set up, I would imagine, Reflect first, maybe, to protect against the Scrafty, which would be good. If the Tapu Lele has a fire move, this is why, I guess, why we have the Alka Berry. I imagine. Imagine he's going to start with Reflect, like probably setting up screens completely. Okay, his Dialga is full offense. Full offensive Dialga, Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. That's really helpful. Full offense with Leftovers. Okay, so if I can keep some of the pressure off of Dialga, it might be able to carry a little bit. The problem is there's a Ground Steel type in this, and that could fuck up Dialga pretty hard. But it is Leftovers Dialga. That's that's hype. Okay, so it Mega Evolves. It only has three moves. Earthquake, Double Edge, and Roost. Why does it not have a fourth move? That doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, because I don't have anything that can avoid an Earthquake. Well, that gives me an idea of what I can play around then. But yeah, I think what we do turn one is play off the fact that Dragapult's probably going to set up screens and try to help it out a little bit by doing some massive damage. I mean, even with Intimidate, I think this does a lot of damage. Let's give it a shot. Okay, Light Screen. Moon Blast. Does that kill after Light Screen? Probably not, right? After Light Screen? Okay. Knock Off. That kind of sucks, but it's not the worst thing that could happen, I guess. It's just the berry. This should do a lot of damage. Because it hits twice. So even after Intimidate... Oh, it still kills! It still kills! Oh, big! Oh, that is actually huge. Okay. 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 That still kills after Intimidate! Massive! Okay. 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 Good start. Good start. I'll take that. It is Excadrill. Ah, uh, it is Excadrill. Eww. Man, okay. I can't switch anything into an Excadrill. Kongol has to stay in. If it's anything like his last Excadrill, then it's gonna be Focus Sash. I almost want to protect this turn. Oh, but if it... It could have Swords Dance, couldn't it? It could have Swords Dance. If I protect, I might give it a free Swords Dance turn. And Dragapult probably dies after it uses, I'm assuming, Reflect. And if it dies to Scrafty... We got Intimidated, so this isn't Moxie Scrafty. So I don't have to worry about Moxie. I might just go for damage on the Scrafty, or maybe I go for a knockoff on Excadrill. Nah, because if it's Focus Sash, then it wouldn't make a lot of sense, unless it's not Focus Sash. Maybe it's like an Assault Vest Excadrill or something. What else would they give it? Maybe an Air Balloon, so it doesn't get hit by a ground move? It almost feels smart to just protect here with Kongol. 
Because it doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do anything else here right now, right? I'm going to risk this thing going for a swords dance. Please don't swords dance. Please don't swords dance. Okay, nice. It went rock slide. Huge. So Dragapult dies, but we got both screens up. And now Dialga comes in with screen support, which means we need to... Oh, it's Salamence. Okay, that's actually fine. I actually prefer this. Yep. Lower the attack of both of them. Okay. Nice. 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 This is good. We know the moveset that Salamence has. I don't... It's going to Mega Evolve, but then it has to just use Double Edge, right? So maybe we double up into the Scrafty. Yep. Oh, that's super effective now. Oh, does that turn into a flying move? Oh, that's huge damage then. Okay, sick. That's actually sick. Okay, Scrafty's dead. High horsepower. That's honestly fine because he got intimidated. That's actually totally fine. What comes in next? Already? Wait, already? Oh, no. No, 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 but Mewtwo might. But do I want to risk protecting here? Or just try to get the damage? Because Dra- Ah! I don't know what Mewtwo's going to go for. Do I leave Salamence out to dry like this? Because then it'd just be down to Dialga, and I kind of can't let- I think I- Mmm. Dude, this is- This is- Oh, this is- Oh, God. Fuck it. Okay. It is Flamethrower Mewtwo. Honestly, it's fine. It's whatever. Okay, Roost from Salamence I think is fine. Because Mewtwo is out, it makes me want to put in Drapion. The problem is that Excadrill has high horsepower. Even after Intimidate, it's still gonna hurt, but I need to kill Mewtwo. That's what Drapion is for. This is super fucking risky, but I gotta do it. I mean, Excadrill is no Swords Dance. It's intimidated. I have to go for this. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Come on, come on. Okay, Roost is fine. That keeps it alive. High horsepower. How much does this do? After Intimidate? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's fucking go. Okay, okay, come on. Kill, 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 kill. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Oh, that's right. He had the mega. Wait, I have to kill it twice? I have to kill this thing twice? Wait, 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 wait. This is bullshit. Are you kidding? This is ass. Dude, this is ass. I have to kill it twice. We know that Wicked Blow kill. I have to protect this turn so I heal a little bit and give Salamence a chance. If it goes for Earthquake here, that'd be super big brain. I have to protect. I have to protect. Oh my god, this is such bullshit. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Salamence dies here, I think. From Mega Mewtwo? From a Mega Mewtwo soul robbery? This thing, it has to be dead, right? Oh, it lives! Earthquake! Big Brain! Big Brain Salamence! Actually, Big Brain! Kill! Kill Excadrill! Yes! Wait, actually, it was a crit on Mewtwo! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so big! Oh my god, man! Dude, this Salamence is putting in work! Oh, that was so Big Brain! Oh my god! Okay, 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 Tyranitar. It is Tyranitar. That is what I expected. Salamence is likely going for a roost this turn. Salamence will get outsped by Mewtwo. Tyranitar, I don't know what Tyranitar has. And it's not intimidated, so this is really risky for Scorpio. I don't think Scorpio outspeeds. Like, what is Tyranitar's base speed? I need to, I need to know. Okay, it has a base speed of 61. Our base speed is, I think, 70. So if there's no speed investment for the Tyranitar, we would outspeed. The problem is we have no speed investment. So if this thing, oh man, this is rough. Okay, Salamence dies. What did Tyranitar do here? Don't do, don't do a ground move. Don't do a ground move. Oh, I outspeed Tyranitar, good. Okay, okay, Mewtwo's gone. Oh, Mewtwo's gone. Please be actually gone. Please be actually gone this time, please. Okay, we've done our job. We have done our job. Oh, we survived. Wait, huge. Wait, wait, wait. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's actually big. Okay. Oh, I wish I'd put Brick Break on them. If I had Brick Break here, that'd be so massive. Oh my god. Celesteela is the... Oh my god. Are you kidding? Celesteela is the steel flying type. That's a... It's a flying type. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, that's so bad. Celesteela can do everything, dude. From the bit of like VGC I've watched, it's usually a special attacker or very bulky because it can kind of do both. If it's a special attacker, it's going to be running like uh, uh, the shift gear. No, not shift gear. There's one that like the steel types will run. Ato uh, uh, is it automatize? Auto auto automize? One of those. I think it's a speed raising thing. If this is bulky Celesteela, that would actually be a little better for us. Because if this is offensive Celesteela, I kind of need to deal with it immediately. But this Tyranitar is a problem. And I kind of need to protect this turn. But I don't want to leave Dialga out to dry. But maybe we just rock slide, man. Maybe we rock slide for p potential flinch support to help Dialga. Because I think we outspeed both of these Pokemon. Unless Celesteela has speed investment. I'm protecting. Fuck it. Fuck it. Give me a little bit of health back. This is super risky, but... Okay, nice. Big flamethrower. How much does this do? Okay, it's not bulky, Celesteela. It's not bulky. Oh my god. Okay, it's going... That doesn't even do that much. So this is... Nice! Oh, big read! Big read! Oh, this is going so well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That went so well. Okay, what do we have left? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Are these the last two Pokemon? We killed Mewtwo. This is the Steel Flying type. And, and, and the Rock Dark type. Excadrill's dead. Tapu Lele's dead. These are the last two Pokemon. <sighs> okay, Celesteela dies. This is fine. This is fine, because we have Lapras in the back. I can't believe it. I, Dude, oh my god. Yes, man. Yes, man. Give me that. Give me that. Huge damage. Huge damage. Massive damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yes, dude! Oh my god. First try. First fucking try, dude. GG! Oh my god. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. I've been avoiding this for a month. <laughs> I didn't want to do this. Oh my god, and we pre we didn't even prep for a double battle. We didn't even prep for a double battle. Oh my god, we're so cracked, dude. Oh my god, man. I could cry. I could cry, dude. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh my god, even with Mega Mewtwo, I've fallen by your hand. I am truly humbled. My plan for world domination is but a dream. I threw aside family for this. Abandoned my wife, even my own son. Despite my defeat at Silphco, I couldn't give up on my plan. I admit I was a victim of the sunk cost fallacy. But I've given up the fucking makers of this game are like, I learned fa fallacies earlier. <laughs> but I've given up literally everything for this. Oh, boss. Not everything, sir. You still have us. You stuck with you through thick and thin, boss. You could learn to rely on us, even if just a little. Could you have any doubt on our loyalty? Ever since you took us in, we were lowly children with no home to go to. You're truly family to us, more than just our boss. Wait, why is it like a wholesome Team Rocket ending? Although we don't agree with everything you do, we will stand by you no matter what. You too, I'm sorry. My crude ambitions have blinded me. You guys are more than family. We sh- Oh, shit. You two escaped out of my master ball. Dudes. Oh, this is Mewtwo talking. <laughs> When you are when you are worthy, please return to me. Oh, he kicked me out, dude. What in the world? Such power, he forced us out of his domain. Perhaps my master ball was defective. <laughs> That's how it works, dude. More importantly, Mewtwo deemed me unworthy, and it spoke to you. Perhaps he's awaiting for you to become a champion. That was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's time I turned it around. With the strength my loyal admins and I have, we could definitely make a legitimate living. They're gonna work at the McDonald's. I don't know if my son would ever forgive me, but it's never too late to start an honest life. You're going to jail, man. Giovanni, I have no idea if it's possible for you to right your wrongs, but I do believe in giving people second chances. I hope to see better things out of you. I, on behalf of the Pokemon League, will keep be keeping a close eye on you. Right, of course, you have my word. Anyway, this feels right in your hands. Bang, dude. Archer, Ariana, I'm indebted to both of you. To new beginnings. Wow, wholesome ending. Thank you, dudes. We hope to meet you again when you're the champion. 
I deeply apologize for everything. It's an empty. This guy just keeps yapping, dude. He just loves to talk, man. It's empty apology, I know, but take care of yourself, dudes. I've handed my position as gym leader to someone else already. And if you run into silver, tell him I'm sorry. Ah, surely I don't run into silver, dude. Well, wasn't that a strange turn of events? Perhaps it would have been wise to not let him go, but I do get the feel he... I do get the feel he came to his senses. Perhaps I'm naive. But anyway, thank you for assisting me today. Here, I have this to offer you. Oh, look at all these mega stones for Pokemon that I can't use them on. And he didn't mention the name Silver. I've actually ran into that kid a couple of times. He was once a snotty brat, but he's turned into a formidable trainer. He does resemble his father quite a bit. Anyway, take care, dudes. I'll see you in the Pokemon League soon. Dude, maybe that's one of the fights I have to do before the Pokemon League. Maybe that's one of the rival fights they were talking about. Oh my god, dude. We get to do the last gym. We get to do the last gym, dude. Oh my god. Here is the information I have. The eighth gym leader has a rock flying type lead, which I think is either Aerodactyl or Archaeops. They have a Steel Fairy type, which I think is either Klefki or Magearna. They have a Water Dragon, which I think is either Lapras or Kingdra. I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. Oh, um, 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 Arctivish, or whatever the big, the big guy is. There's a Dragon Flying type, which could be Dragonite or Salamence, or I guess Rayquaza. <laughs> there's a Poison Dragon type, which I th think is either, I mean, it has to be Dragalge or Eternatus. So, I mean, it would be really cringe if they gave it. Eternatus. That would be ass. And then there's a Steel Dragon type, which I think is either Hishuan Gudra, Duraladon, or... Oh, I wrote down also Nagan... How do you say this word? This this name. It's Naganadel. It was like an Ultra Beast that somebody mentioned. I think that could also be the Poison Dragon type. Oh, and then Palkia. Oh, that's right. I wrote down extra notes, dude. Okay, so we could have a potential, like, crazy gym leader fight here where we have to fight, like... Palkia, Dialga, Rayquaza. <laughs> so let's just hope it's not that. Lapras, Mega Evolve, Moon Burst, Bang, Bang. There we go. First try. Oh, we get Choice Band. And then we I think we have to show her something with max defense to get the Assault Vest. There we go. Now we get the Assault Vest. So that's what I was looking for. We get Choice Band and Assault Vest, which are two huge items. So it raises your special defense, but it doesn't let you use any status moves. So this is a good item for any sort of Pokemon you need to be a little more bulky. Um, that's just going to be attacking anyways. Choice Band, kind of the same thing, just a different philosophy. Again, it ups your attack, but you can only use that one move. So Choice Band can be really good on something that just kind of wants to spam the same move over and over again. I At the end of the day, I don't know if this is like the right team for this i really don't like i have a sticky note to work with <laughs> i have to hope that that sticky note has enough information to carry me through this not really like a lot i can do necessarily um other than just prage you know but i'm just already so hyped that we got past giovanni that it's like it's just it's just nice man i mean this <laughs> this is the best we can do we, we don't have anything else. I mean, another hour of prep wouldn't really do me much good here. This will determine my dopamine levels for going out with friends tomorrow. So if I lose this, my dopamine is chalk. Here we go. So it's Claire, apparently. That makes sense. There's a lot of dragon types. So it's Claire. A challenger finally arrives. I was about to take a nap. Although I'm the newly appointed gym leader of the Kanto region, I was once a leader in Johto. Yeah, I know, dude. This is nothing new to me. Wait, so then it's probably Kingdra, right? Because that was like her ace before. It's gotta be Kingdra, right? Lance may be considered the world's dragon master, but I'm a close second. Do you still dare to take me on? <sighs> All right. This is for the run, dude. Okay, it's Aerodactyl. <sighs> okay. All right. Now, because we have one level on this thing, we might outspeed. Normally, it'd be a speed tie. Do it! Yes! Okay, I could have just Thunderbolted. Good to know. Locking in the brain. Locking it in the brain. Oh, it's Focus Sash. Okay. It is Focus Sash Aerodactyl. I don't know if it's going to go for an Earthquake or what. I don't know what it would have gone for. I probably should have protected, but I thought it might go Stealth Rock. I think Pika Blue lives anything it tries to do. If it went for a Rock move for some reason, Joler's not a good switch in here. I think Pika Blue's the best option because I have Aqua Jet. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to trust my gut. 
They taunted. Okay, good, good, good. I'm already assault vested. Perfect. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Aerodactyl's dead for free. Excellent. Very good start. No stealth rocks. Very nice. It is Magirna. Um. <laughs> I was really hoping to be clef key, dude. <laughs> it's a special attacker, typically. And my whole plan for it is to get Joler in an Earthquake. That's kind of my plan. I don't know what moves this thing has, though. And because I'm Assault Vested... Okay, it wouldn't send in Magirna if it didn't have something to kill me with, right? That's the logical thinking here, right? So it's got to have some sort of, like, electric move. So I could hard read this, go Jolteon, Bolt Absorb, protect to see what other moves it has, and then either Bolt Switch or Thunderbolt. Ooh, that's not great. But, see, it rose its attack and speed. I'm going to then Thunder Wave. This is going to hurt a lot. Do I survive it? I have Focus Sash, so I guaranteed survive. Focus Sash was the right call. <laughs> okay, special attack drops harshly. We Thunder Wave to guarantee we win the speed war. Okay, and now I think we Volt Switch. Or we just let Jolteon perish because it's not going to have a lot more to do in this fight. I just don't know what move it's going to go for here. I almost want to protect just to see, but I don't want to give a free switch out, you know? Let's protect. Let's see. Let's just, let's take a peek. It's going for Aura Sphere. Okay. If it's going Aura Sphere, I don't know if it goes Aura Sphere again. I don't think Aura Sphere is guaranteed. We Volt Switch. See how much this does. Not bad. If it's going Aura Sphere... Ideally, Joler comes in and doesn't give a shit about that. So let's send it. Okay, it went for shift gear again. This might get a little dicey now. Even with paralysis, it might outspeed because it has two shift gears. It's got leftovers. We go earthquake though. Okay, floor cannon, it already got its special attack lowered harshly. This shouldn't theoretically do that much, right? It's still a decent amount, but we have leftovers. We earthquake, see how much this does. Huge! Okay, 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 okay. This is going actually well. This is going well. Okay, oh, Duraludon. Wait, so it's not Dialga. Excellent, excellent. Wait, that's not bad then. This was, I think, supposed to be her ace? I don't know for sure, but if this is her ace, let me protect, because I think it's gonna Gigantamax? Yeah, this is why we protect, because we need to see what it's using. What is it going for here? Thunderbolt. Okay. So ideally, so if it's going for that, I can just switch in Jolteon. Excellent. Volt Absorb. Get some HP back. And then I need to see what else it has. So I'm going to protect and then I'm going to try to paralyze it and let Jolteon just die. It's going Dark Pulse. Okay. So we can't really switch into a Dark Pulse unless we went with Comfey. Actually, maybe we could go Comfey. Because of the leftovers, we could set up Light Screen and give Gyarados a relatively safe switch back in. Because the problem is if I send in Comfey, right, then we have to deal with it being a Steel type. Which we don't want to eat a Steel move as Comfey. So I think we just Thunder Wave. We just let Jolteon die here. Unless we get a free turn. That'd be hype. Okay. Draco Meteor. Good. Okay. Now we get to see, because it's going to lower its bad... Wait, stats weren't lowered because of bad company? Oh, that's kind of cringe. What the hell was that about? Well, I actually could have switched into Comfey if I wanted to. That would have been free. So this is another Pokemon where Joler is supposed to be the one that claps. The problem is it's a special attacker. So I could go Azumarill if I wanted to. I could go in and Superpower. The problem is it has Thunderbolt. I could go Sceptile and risk it and go for Earthquake. I'm trying to think what is crucial to keep alive at this point, right? Like, we, we've taken care of Aerodactyl, we've taken care of Magirna, and we're about to take care of Duraludon. So we still have a Poison Dragon type, we still have a Dragon Flying type, and we still have a Water Dragon. So we need Sceptile to dual chop... Well, we've already seen the Focus Sash, so we shouldn't have to worry about a Focus Sash. We need Sceptile to outspeed literally anything that we go against. We need Jiver to essentially be a potential sweeper of the rest of the team. At this point, setting up Light Screen and getting Joler in is probably the best option. I don't really need Blanky at this point. It could potentially help with something at some point here, but if I can just kind of do this, I think this is better off. It's going Steel Beam. I'm actually curious if this kills or not through Light Screen. It does not. And if it's going Steel Beam, that's a pretty safe switch into Joler, I think. It's a little risky because it could hard read as the AI on Thunderbolt. Nice. We 
protect, get a little extra HP back in the event that we maybe survive a Thunderbolt. I don't think we do, but we'll give it a shot. I am hoping this Earthquake does about half. If this does half, I'm in a decent spot. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, okay. This probably kills us, but that is good. Wait, does this actually kill? I have full special defense. Oh, it doesn't kill. Joeler the God. I forgot I, I went full special defense investment and light screen. I forgot about light screen. Oh my God, Joeler. Joeler the menace. Oh my God. Gyarados is clutching. He's clutching. Praise be unto Joeler. Oh my God, man. Okay. The Mega Evolution Pokemon is off the field. Oh my god, do we... I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. I'm not getting ahead of myself. Dragonite. Okay, this is probably multi-scale Dragonite, which is cringe, but I have a fairy type. So ideally, let's see here. Is this physical or special attacker? What's it gonna do? Dual wing beat, physical, okay. So then we wanna keep Joler alive, go into Comfey, let it die. If this is multi-scale Dragonite, it's cringe, but Joler can now intimidate it and protect again to get more X or more HP back. Yeah, it's just spamming dual wing beat, which means it might be choice band or choice scarf. But because it's intimidated now, ideally, I think I can survive an attack. Even if we can't though, we should be able to like Azumarill destroy this thing. Let's see, do we survive this? Yes, we do. Yes, Joler. Yes, Joler. Yeah, fucking yeah, Joeler! Oh my god. Perfect. Multi-scale's gone. Oh, shit. Weakness policy. Oh, that's bad. I think this is where we let Joeler die. It has served us well. Okay, at this point, I don't know if this thing is scarfed or not. I can't tell if it's scarfed or if it's, like, choice banded. It feels like scarf. And if that's the case, I don't think Jiver outspeeds. Okay, I think it has to be Pika Blue based on what's left. I think it has to be Pika Blue. Come on, survive, 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 survive. Come on, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. You're joking. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, it's fine. It didn't die, it didn't die, it didn't die, it didn't die. Kill it, murder it, huge power ice punch, quad effective. Yes, okay. Oh, I just needed that so badly. I needed that so badly. Okay. Oh my God, Azumarill, you fucking legend. Oh my God, man. So now we just go for damage with Aqua Jet. It, it's not going to do jack shit, but we're not going to outspeed this thing. So we just, we just, in case it's double fucking focus sash on this gym, we'll take it. Okay. Oh, that raises speed. No, 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 no. Oh, Beast Boost raises speed. Wait, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. 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 It's over. It's actually over. I can't believe it. No way that's how we lose. I can't outspeed it and it one-shots everything I have. If I had Choice Scarf on Jiver instead, this would be doable. That is just really sad. What a bummer, man. The only chance we have is because of the fact it went for Draco Meteor and lowered its special attack. The only chance we have is, did it lower it enough for the Jiver to survive an attack? That's the only way that this matters at this point. Like if this still kills after the, the harsh special attack drop, then it's GG. If it doesn't kill, Damn it, man. We were right there, man. We were right there. We were so close, man. All they had left was a water dragon. That's all they had. All they had was a water dragon. I would have had, I would have had a choice banded fucking... God damn it, man. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. We were so close, man. Oh, and I don't want to do an entire another run. So you have a checkpoint, not until you get to the Elite Four. That is the rule we have set. Have to get the Elite Four first. It's crazy that if I just Choice Scarfed instead of Choice Banded, man. If I changed one item, one item, one item. <laughs> ah, 
That sucks, man. That sucks. One item. It's the Crobat situation all over again. It's the Crobat situation all over again from like 20 runs ago. Well, not 20, but like that first time we got to Erica, right? If I had changed one item, we would have probably won, right? It's the same thing here. If I had one different item, oh God. Because the choice scarf would have out... Oh, I would have outsped the fucking boost, the first speed boost, and I wouldn't have had to go with Sceptile, and I could Ah! Damn. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad, because I just... I, ah! God damn it. On the other hand, another run. Yeah, man. On the other hand... We could do another run, man. Another three weeks just to get back to the same point. Unless I just go super Omega Ham on Pokemon. It is what it is. Again, huge PB. We got two massive fights out of the way. We first tried Giovanni 3. We almost first tried Claire, which would have been insane. That would have been an insane first try for how cracked that team was. So a very good run. I am not looking forward to a potential run where I don't have this guy because this guy was extremely helpful. Hopefully I can get him again. Some of these Pokemon were just so incredibly good for us, but as always, we make do with what we get. So 